Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. I'm back again on this beautiful Asebu project. I know you've already heard of the uh, Pan African project organized or put together by the Asebu Traditional Council, where they're giving out 5,000 acres of land to you, my African diaspora brother and a sister. So today I decided to pay a visit to Byron. You may have was the video where I interviewed Byron, we talked about him being the first person to get a land here. And then he said he watched my videos and wait, I'll ask him when I get inside there. So today I'm just giving you a beautiful tour of Byron's place. Uh, let's just get inside. Okay. Hey, so um, I told you that I'll be coming to a Sebu Pan African village to show you exactly what is going on. But I came here and I've met these beautiful families, Charlie. I was telling people that, you know, the process of healing from this side, your side, it takes few events. Yeah. There's, there's been naming ceremonies where the African brothers. Uh, that from the diaspora do get their African names. It has happened. And then there are other times where you have people getting chieftaincy kind of kinship positions. I think they are all privileges and it's a, like, like I mentioned, there are events that put you into thinking, okay, so this is how we do things. So when I come here, I can easily fit in. Yeah. So it's a process. And another process is where the Asebu Pan-African community is giving our brothers and sisters land. So I'm here in Mr. Byron's house. That is Mr. Byron. So Byron, say hello. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> yes. So I would love for you to introduce yourself to me and then we'll take you from there. So come, come. Yeah. Hi, I'm Angie. I've been living in Ghana for almost two years. I live in Accra mm -hmm. and I bought um, a year ago, just over a year ago, one and a half years ago, a plot in a Cebu. I uh, haven't done anything on it yet, but uh, um, my friends here have built their house. So, you know, I got to get up and do something. Okay. Very soon, I'll be visiting your home to eat fufu. Have you tried fufu yet? Of course. Fufu and groundnut soup. Charlie, <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> sweet is it? Yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> okay, so tell me about you. Okay, so... Hi, Echo. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sharon. I am Byron's sister. Okay. Um, I live in the UK currently, mm. um, but strongly thinking of residing here in Ghana. Um, about three years ago, um, well, in 2020, we came for the first time to the motherland mm -hmm. and fell in love with it. Um, we bought land and we have been working on this project here, mm -hmm. this home, building it, um, putting sweat, tears and blood <laughs> <laughs> into this project and it's um, and to see it come to its its state, this current state is is fantastic. We're really happy to be here. Um, and we encourage everyone to come along yeah. from the West. Come home. Just come home. It's beautiful here. Leave the West. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful here on the motherland. Now, before I get to Byron, that everybody knows, there's one big brother here that looks exactly like Byron. So I wanted to ask, is it? He... <laughs> yeah. But the first time when I came here, I was like, you guys look alike. Uh, yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Brother in law. Brother in law. Yeah. Okay. Telling me, I look like him too. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Do you know what happens? Yeah. Usually. When you're married with someone for a longer time, <laughs> the two of you look Stop alike. Yeah, so yeah, since looking she looks like Byron, then you look like her. So then yeah. you look like Byron. Mm. So mm. end of the no, case. Byron looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us, tell us a little bit about you and the, the motivation that brought you to the motherland. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm going to say hello to you in my mother tongue is Wagwan. Wagwan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you are going. So how do I respond? Yeah. Everything cool. Everything cool. Bless it. Uh, bless <laughs> it. <laughs> okay. bless yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, just like uh, my wife said, we, you know, we, 
we were inspired by this man mm -hmm. because he decided to drop everything in the UK and come here all by himself mm -hmm. to, to, to try and find peace in the motherland. Mm -hmm. And he's found it and he inspired us to come. So we, we came along in 2020, I think it yeah. was. Mm -hmm. And like Sharon said, there was nothing here, yeah. just bush bush. Like we say in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Bush bush. Yeah, just bush bush. Anyway, we came and, but we love the land. Mm -hmm. Because I like the greenery. Yeah. I, li I like the natural um, you know, surroundings mm -hmm. that we see here. And that's one of the things that I hope that doesn't disappear when everyone comes. That we still, we, we, we come from the West. Yeah. We live in Africa, but we still can enjoy the peace and tranquility mm -hmm. yeah. of a sable yeah. of Ghana. You know, so, and basically we, we've been working with, with Byron. We've been building together. And we're looking at um, other different things to do. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, you know, we just have a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, uh, peacefully. Next week. Next week. Next, next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interview. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's one interest. That's good. That was good. This yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Ghana. This is, yeah. this is how they do things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this yeah. Beautiful. So. Um, I'm here, like I said, in Barron's apartment. Uh, I've seen others as well. So today, let me sit by Barron. Come closer. Barron, let me sit by you. Uh, oh, okay, no, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so Barron, I've had an interview with you before. I think that was like last year. Mm -hmm. So what is going on with Asebo Pan-African Village right now as we speak? Well, I say the Pan-African village right now is moving forward. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a lot of people coming in, building, people calling us every day, the phone's hot, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, they want to come and see the land, and they want to get some freelance too. Mm -hmm. So that's good. So right now, we, I'm sort of working directly with the king and the office. Okay. okay. So, you know, that we can help. I can help them to get the land and everything they need. Beautiful. Yeah. I've, I've, I've had both negative and positive remarks coming from people. This is not true. It's, it's fake. It's a scam. <laughs> There's a lot of... And some even say uh, we are supposed to, to do certain things before they come in. But I keep telling them that this place was like a virgin forest. Mm -hmm. There was nothing. Yeah. So if we were expecting the chief to put road, put this, put this before the brothers and sisters come, where is he going to get that funds from? And this is 5,000 yeah. acres of land, yeah. mm -hmm. not like two plots where he can easily do it. So it's bigger than most cities. Yeah, you know. Yeah, wow. mm. it is mm. very big. Even when I'm when I have to go look for somebody's plot, I get myself missing. Yeah, yeah mm. I need to find my way. You know, getting back yeah. and all that. So this place is really big. Now, what are some of the developments I've seen? Okay, I don't want to talk about it because uh, Mr. Len was using solar panel. Mm -hmm. Now I don't think he's using it because there is. Electric. Light, yes, Light. and yeah. show them this. This is not no. This one. Are you using um, solar or no? no this is this is electricity. Okay, so the news is that Asebu Pan African Village now we have electricity. Mm. So those of us who were worried about coming now we have it. Now tell them how how did this come about? Like the lighting, because one time you told me you guys have come together. And you have formed um, home owners, something, something. Yeah, we were working on that, you know, is uh, for the infrastructure. Yeah. We were working and coming together. I, um, you know, see quite a few engineers mm. and everything. So I was working on that. But that was with the HOA. Yeah. And now we no longer got that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we, got, okay. we move on okay. to another one. So... You know, but since then, <clears throat> I've been really busy, mm -hmm. so I, I didn't even have the time to help them out. But right now, you know, we're working and, and, and doing that. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the fellow that, that's head it is a friend of mine, okay. Richard, and mm -hmm. he's a really nice person mm -hmm. to get on with. So, you know, hopefully we're going to work together, get the rest of the um, electric poles yeah. up, but we need funds. Mm. So we need to talk to everyone 
you know, to come together to help us. Yeah. And so we can move forward. Beautiful. And so, you know, we have so much things to do. As you said, it mm -hmm. was a virgin land. Mm -hmm. So once we get the poll up right now, we have most of the polls up for phase one. Okay, okay. And so we want, we want to get all those people who built, mm -hmm. we get them light. Okay. You know, because not everyone have lights yet. Lights, right, okay. Yeah. And then, then we want to move on to the road. Mm -hmm. So we can get the road... Uh, maybe just the main road to start yeah. with, you know, so people can come on the estate and bring materials yeah. and start building. Okay. And uh, of course, we need water, mm -hmm. <laughs> everything, mm -hmm. you know. Right. You, how Steve, many yeah. buildings do you think are like, you, you can say 90% done or 100% done? Yeah, um, I know Steve is done. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Len mm -hmm. is is it's almost done. Is ninety percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you are uh, done. And I'm done. <laughs> yeah, but you know, leaving just a little teething problems, mm -hmm. and you know, to put the pump in yeah. and hot okay. water heaters mm -hmm. and things like that. But you know, it's livable. Okay. So we're only moving. Well, two weeks now. Yeah, on the nineteenth of October. Mm -hmm. 19 of, uh, that is when you moved in. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Because the family would come in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, if we, it would be good if we yeah, could to just live here. Live here, move in here. Yeah, so. Okay, so we don't only have Mr. Lynn and Navigate living on the motherland here in a Cebu Pan African project. We have Mr. Byron and the family sleeping and waking up here on the motherland. That means this movement is possible. Now, I would love for you to take me around so you can show people that it can be done. Yeah. All right. Okay. Any, <laughs> okay, so let's show. Baron, take us around and show us your place. Okay. This is the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, we're uh, working on it. Okay. And so it hasn't quite finished. Okay. It's, you know... So that's the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my brother's bedroom. Okay, your yeah. big, your big brother. Yeah, my big brother. Okay. He's also got and sweet. Okay, and sweet. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen that. Most of you like, like yeah. it that way. Like where you have your bathroom, then washroom, everything inside. Everything inside. Yeah. Your house, you know. What is the measurement of, of this? This looks smaller yeah, than a, the Ghanaian yeah, room measurement. It's, it's a it's about a 12 by 12. 12 by 12. Yeah, because I was just, when I started this house, I was just making it a, a small little place. shelter. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. so now uh, my family says, well, you know, what, where am I going to stay when mm -hmm. I come? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I thought, oh, I have to make something. Something, <laughs> so yeah. We yeah. start knocking out and rebuilding mm -hmm. and make it bigger, yeah. you know. Now it's a home. It's a home. Yeah. Yes, and you have your TV here. So anybody who comes will just be enjoying the TV. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how many how many rooms do you have in all? So this one is three bedroom. Okay. So this is my room where I stay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just moving in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, Baron just moved in. He said 19th of October, right? Yeah. So yeah. that we still put in the place up for um, Byron to have a beautiful stay. And how, how long did it take for you? I know it wasn't that quick, 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 mm -hmm. but you took your time to build it. How long did it take for you to have something like this? Well, I think it takes about, mm, I was doing it slowly. Slowly, yes. So it takes me about a year. A year? Mm -hmm. Even slowly, it takes you a year. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, yeah. with, with most of the Ghanaian homes, especially people who don't really have it, like we all don't have it that much, it takes like from five years going. Because, yeah, because we put a foundation up, we wait to get another money, then we do the, you know, to the window level, mm. we wait for another money, we do the roofing, we wait for another money, we put a place in shape. So it takes a lot of work. So it's nice for people to know that if you want to build, if you have the resources, fine, you can go ahead and do it within a year or yeah. maybe a year and a half. But if you don't have it, 
you may want to take your time and do it. So you have three rooms here, mm -hmm. and all uh, every room is and see. Yeah. So that means every room has yeah. toilet and bath inside it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. So you don't have to go out and use yeah. washroom. <laughs> yeah, everything is right. Yeah, here. beautiful. This is my sister and her husband. I mm. said, well, Sharon and Dennis. Sharon and Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, their rooms are posh. Yeah. You know? <laughs> They've taken time because there's there's a woman around. Yeah. She would take her time to to to, to yes, okay, let me say. Congratulations, you've won an award for keeping your room nice. So, yeah. so this is the this the, the spray. I like this spray. Yes, yeah, beautiful. You know, she made it herself. Oh, mm. then she would have to do a lot and maybe sell it to people who are coming to Ghana. Mm. Yeah, that's a business because I love the print. Yes. It's like an African yes, it print. Is. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. And she doesn't have a better headboard than mine. <laughs> 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 but everything matched yeah, up. And yeah, and she this, has her own. Yeah, and the bathroom just here to... Mm -hmm. yeah, Go ahead. Go. Oh, sorry. Is it okay? Yeah, and the shower is at the back. Mm -hmm. okay. all right beautiful people so uh you know when i come to asebu i would like to make it short and make it relevant to you watching this um 2019 the president of ghana made the declaration that the african brothers and sisters can come home and in so doing um the chief of asebu pan-african village or asebu traditional council said okay i'm giving you five thousand acres of free land and Byron got to see this video on my YouTube channel. Byron, tell them how you got to see the, the, this whole thing and then you came here. Okay, yeah. Because I, I was watching YouTube, which I love watching YouTube, you know, see what's going on, in, especially in the motherland. And so, uh, you know, I came across your video mm -hmm. um, where you said the, the chief was giving away... 5,000 acres of land free. And then I thought, I need some of that land. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Africa. <laughs> so, you know, I get on the plane and come and then uh, see the chief and, uh, yeah, gave me some land yeah. and we start from there. And now we got all, all this, yeah. you know, which yeah. is great. Beautiful. So, you know, and anyone you know, who needs some of this land can get it because we are only in about phase two right now. Mm -hmm. And um, it's 5,000 acres. It's big. Big. And the, the phase two is only about maybe 500 mm -hmm. uh, acres, mm -hmm. you know. So... It's only about 500 acres altogether that's mm -hmm. been gone. Yeah. That's How do you see the Asebu Pan-African village within the next 10 years? Well, in the next 10 years, you know, phase, uh, phase one and phase two be all built up. Mm -hmm. And then we perhaps moving into phase three. Phase three. <laughs> yeah. And this but place will look different like the it, way we it see it now. Totally different. Yeah. Because... You know, the next thing is going to be roads and we're going to have the main road. But within 10 years, we, all the roads going to be in. That means and it's a gradual process. Yeah, step by step. Beautiful. And, you know, as you can see, we have all the electrics mm -hmm. uh, running mm -hmm. into phase one. Okay. Yeah. So the next lot of electrics going to be into phase two. Phase two. Previously, I made a comment that uh, I was I was going to stop helping people to get the land because uh, the process was a little bit slow, yeah, and and yeah. and you know the African diaspora system they they respect time. So when that happened, I was a little bit down because people will call you, call why yeah, not? But now, but yeah, but now 
I'm full time going to support people to get in. Now there's an office. Yeah. So yeah. when I'm being contacted, I will direct them to the office and then deal with them directly. So yes, I'm back to supporting brothers and sisters get their plot. Yeah. And come and have a look. You yeah. know, just take a holiday. Mm -hmm. Like how when you're in the West, you go maybe Spain, you go to Paris, you mm -hmm. go, uh, you know, all over. Yeah. So just take one of those holidays mm -hmm. yeah. and come here. And come here. Come yeah. and experience the motherland. And maybe that would even change certain perceptions about how mm. people think about Africa. Because yeah. some have not been here before and, and they still think that... They think negative is, Yeah, they think negative Africa. about Africa. All the time, you know. Uh, everything's come from Africa, mm -hmm. if they want to know. Yeah. yeah. Um, all the money they got in the West comes from Africa. The gold, the diamonds, mm -hmm. the, the, even the rubber that's on the yeah. car. Yeah. The, everything, Africa, Africa. And but our own people can't see yeah. it, you know. So and they always sit there talking nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's true. Yeah, they mean, don't want to come and experience, but yeah, they are talking as, as if, if they've been here yeah. and they know all about it. But hey, uh, Byron didn't only build, he made sure that he has a, a backyard garden or farm where he has maize, you have sweet potato, you know, and I've seen some tomatoes over there. So this time we are not going to be buying plantain. Is that banana? banana. That's banana. Okay. So once in a while, Byron can just come pluck some bananas and then kill it. Yes. <laughs> so you can also give it a shot. I've seen cassava here too. Mm. This is cassava. Yeah. Yeah. So Byron has a lot. I mean, he's living the African dream where he's not thinking of what is going to bite me, what is going to happen. He has made a step. You need to make the same step. Mm.